Hey, what's up everybody? So, uh, here we are back in the F-35C, the uh, India Foxtrot Echo F-35C, and um, I've been getting a lot of uh, feedback lately on a video I posted uh, last year. And um, I, first of all, I really appreciate uh, everyone watching my video and uh, asking questions and uh, leaving comments. It really means a lot to me. And uh, so big up to everybody for that. And uh, one of the biggest questions uh, that I've been getting is how to operate the dual aperture system that the uh, simulation uh, includes. And um, it's really shouldn't be all that difficult. Um, but um, first off, a, a couple notes. Uh, this is version 3.55. Um, this is prepared uh, version 4.5 and uh, this this is the same uh, spec that I had when I made those previous videos. So this isn't uh, the latest version. This is the exact same version that I had used in my previous videos of this aircraft and so I just wanted to demonstrate uh, how the uh, the DAS uh, can be activated. And so as you step back into the cockpit here, um, I guess just uh, make sure your HMD is set. Um, there's really only two settings, auto and off, and then the mode. Uh, you can have it. Uh, show up whenever you look away from the HUD. So that's usually what how I have it. Um, I don't know if Master Arm needs to be on or not, but I'll keep that on. And um, uh, that's really uh, that's really it for that. And uh, so one of the ways to activate the uh, DAS, which is probably the easiest, is if you have rudder pedals or if you have um, the, the brake key uh, slaved or bound to your joystick, you just press that and uh, it should activate the, uh, the dual aperture system. But you can't activate it on the ground. See, I'm, I'm tapping the brakes and it won't work on the ground because you're in, you're in uh, ground operations. So uh, it, it really only works when you're in the air. So I'm going to go ahead and take off here and it should work all right nice and airborne all right so I'm tapping on the brakes now and there you see it there's the DAS it is active and it is working just fine it's daytime so it looks kind of shoddy but uh, that's that's really uh, the only way I use it because it's it's the easiest way. Uh, the other way um, is using the key command, which is Control Shift and X. And when you hit Control Shift X, uh, what's cool about this option is uh, the the DAS screen sort of just stays in place. It doesn't go away until you hit control shift X again and then it goes away so that's the other way to do it and those that those really are the only two ways to activate the DAS so um, I, I guess a, an alternative way is to uh, use the MFD uh, so you just click on TSD1 and then you have like this menu here and then click on DAS and then you have the DAS view from the uh, the MFD, so that that would be another way, but you can't really control it um, uh, as in the HMD way. So, but you still get it. Uh, it's just confined to the to the screen there to the H the MFD. So. Um, and that's really it, guys. Uh, 
yeah, just kind of wanted to uh, see if maybe I could help some people out, and uh, and I really appreciate everyone watching my video. If you still continue to have troubles uh, with this add-on, I I'd suggest going to their Facebook page and uh, just asking there. And Dino, he'll he'll from what it looks like, he gets uh, back to people uh, quite promptly. So he, he really does uh, care about his customers and uh, wants to help the best he can. So, um, yeah. Uh, next, I wanted to take a look at the uh, latest version, the PBR version. <clears throat> All right, so here we are in the uh, version 3.65, which I believe is the, uh, the latest version. And it has been redone in uh, PBR texturing. And I can tell you, it does look a little bit different. Uh, there's a little more of a kind of sheen to the textures. And um, there's been some, uh, some minor improvements here as well with uh, some, uh, some uh, performance-related uh, uh, issues in the past and I, I am getting pretty good performance uh, from what it looks like and uh, even with the uh, the window uh, wear on the on the uh, canopy I don't think I had that active in the uh, last version because it it uh, caused a de decrease in my frame rates but it's no problem now so I think the PBR texturing has really helped and um, as far as the uh, cockpit so far and the MFDs everything seems to more or less be the same yeah let's have a look outside so you know what it does look a little different especially the the canopy there if I'm not mistaken it it does look uh, a little more reflective and the uh, the textures on the the aircraft exterior the skin of the aircraft have like a kind of a little shine to them looks pretty looks pretty sharp I don't know if that afterburner looks the same or not but sounds a little different too I'm not sure, but the handling feels a little different compared to the uh, pre previous version I was just using, so... Wow. So they must have tweaked the flight modeling as well. I'm not sure of that, though. I'll have to look and read exactly what the patch notes say, but... Uh, overall, I'm... Uh, I'm pretty happy with with this new version. The uh, DAS seems to work uh, the same way by pressing the brakes and let's try the keyboard command. Yep, keyboard command works the same. So all in all, uh, I'd say it's a pretty good version. Uh, one thing I also I always forget to mention is uh, I am using uh, VRS TAC Pack, although I don't think that really matters as far as uh, the, the dual aperture system goes. Uh, the only kind of restriction I think uh, 
is with uh, Flight Simulator uh, X uh, acceleration. So uh, I know I know because uh, the Direct X uh, was still rather uh, DX10, I believe, was ex was rather limited. Oh wow! Now you can really see that PBR right there. You see it on the uh, on the underside of the aircraft. Yeah, I can confidently tell you there is a a big time performance improvement with this new version. Three point six five. And uh, I thought this was going to be another payware version uh, going from 3.55, but uh, he wound up offering it as a uh, free update, just like the uh, 3.55 version was. So uh, much appreciated uh, to Dino for that. And um, yeah, I also read that... Uh, He's working on a version for uh, possibly the uh, new Microsoft Flight Simulator that's in development. Um, so definitely want to keep a lookout for that, which is going to be, uh, I got to say, pretty awesome to have a F-35 like this in uh, the upcoming uh, Flight Simulator 2020, if it comes out in 2020, which... I don't know. I, I don't really know for sure if it will or if it won't, but if it does, uh, that that would be awesome. But um, <laughs> anyway, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end it there. And um, like I say, I hope this helps out, uh, helps, you know, anyone out who is having issues. And I'll uh, catch you later. Thanks for watching.